Hi folks, my name's Tom Irving, and I've been having so much fun the last couple of years making creations to help people enjoy musical instruments more. The first thing I came up with was the possum pads. They've been a great success and so many people are enjoying playing their mountain dulcimers now because the possum pads improve the sound, improve the warmth of the dulcimer by holding the back of the dulcimer off their legs when they play. Also, the possum pad with its sticky pad on here keeps it right in place on your legs so you don't need to wear a strap and it just makes playing such a pleasure. Came up with a similar thing for a ukulele. These are uke pads. They go on the back of a ukulele so it doesn't slide all around while you're trying to play and you're working to strum the chord and hold it in place and it also improves the sound like the possum pad stuff. The newest creation that I have is called the dulcer rest. The dulcer rest is my version of dulcimer wrist rests. They've been around for a while, they're hard to find, very limited in availability for your dulcimer and and of the ones I bought, almost all of them have broken on me. So I want to have something that's going to be durable and easily adaptable so that I can make it to fit anybody's dulcimer. I also can make them any height that you might want. And with the wide design that I have, I can make your top piece as wide as you may want it to give you complete support. And a, a wrist rest actually allows you to have great control. You don't have to worry about your fingers being in the right place or anchoring yourself right. It's anchored. You put your hand down, it's there. And you're free to pick or strum any way you want. The other nice thing about it is you can place this anywhere you want. So if you want to be strumming or finger picking in the sweet spot of your dulcimer or even further up, you just take the dulcimer rest, slide it up, put it where you want and go to it. So they're very easy. They're very nice. Once you get used to using them, you don't know how you live without them. Now I have four different styles that I've made for you and there are two different leg styles. One is the flush style and that's the one where the legs are exactly the same width as the top gives a nice solid strong look to it and then I also created the step leg where the leg is inset from the top so it's a little bit narrower than what the top is and makes it not as chunky looking if you happen to like that style same price for both the other thing that I've done as you saw on the dulcimer <coughs> the dulcimer rest that I had on the dulcimer is we also have the wide tops these can be made any width that you want the leg style can be step or flush, whatever choice you want. Now I can make these so they just fit barely over your strings to stay as low as possible. People have been using capos for years. To put the capo on the back over the bridge and, and it gives you some stability, but your wrist is down low and, and the angle isn't quite right. So I can make these close to if you want, or make them as high as you want. If you notice some of the dulcimer players are out there, they're pl all playing with wrist rests, and the wrist rests can be fairly large size, up nice and high. It gives you a great feeling of confidence. The ordering is easy. You have the two leg styles, and whether you want it to be flush on the top or wider. And then all I need from you for measurements, I'd like to know the maker of your dulcimer, because a lot of them use standard sizes between their dulcimers. The other thing, if you don't know and you're not sure, it never hurts to measure. All I need is a measurement of how wide your fretboard is. This one happens to be one and seven sixteenths. And then also how high your strings are at their highest point, which is usually right here at the bridge. So just take your ruler, measure the string height and give me the string height. Now, be careful when you're doing the string height because some rulers have extra things at the bottom, extra space. Make sure it's flush and it's reading the right way. But again, it doesn't have to be exact. If you would like me to make it wider, tell me how wide you'd like it to be made on the top. If you'd like the legs to be higher, tell me how high you think you might want them. It's all for the same price. The flush ones sell for $14. The wide ones are $16. So I have an order form that I can send you um, through email or messenger, or I'll post it on Facebook. 
And this basically just has the same information. As long as you know your name and where I'm sending them to, the few questions about what you want for leg style, top width, and top style, and then how you want to pay for it. You can send this back to me and take care of it. You can call me. My phone number's on there. I really, really love these products. I put a very strong foam cushion on them so that it holds it in place and it protects your fretboard. And they are all made by being glued and then doweled and glued. So I, I could probably stand on this, but I don't think I will at this point. And I found this great foam that I use on, on them. And I don't know what they make this stuff out of, but it just stretches and stretches and stretches. It won't tear. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. You will get in your package your dulcet rest, some instructions on it, and I also send you extra cushions. So in case it ever gets torn by some chance or just wears out or you just need to replace it, you'll have replacements. Also, in case the width isn't quite right, you can take some of that foam and put a tab of it on one side or the other to make up if there's any looseness. The other thing is, as long as you've purchased a dulcet rest from me, if you need more pad, you just drop me a line or drop me an email and I'll mail you off some more cushion. So I would love to make these for you. They're a wonderful, wonderful thing that I'm so proud of. I spent a lot of time developing them, making sure they're everything I wanted them to be so they'd be everything you want to be. So my name's Tom Irving. Email address is tom468 at yahoo.com. That's Tom468strings, I'm sorry, at yahoo.com. I'm on Facebook. You can messenger me. Uh, my information's out there. I would love to make some dulcet rest for you. The shipping is very reasonable. Uh, it's just $4 for one. And if you order two up to about 10 dulcet rests, I'm going to send them priority mail. It'll cost you a flat $8. So get together with your friends. Order a bunch of these for yourself or order them for your friends. Thank you so much. Love. Hugs and dulcimers to all of you.